as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be taught a curse. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit 
of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the nether world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Please stand. Praise you. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover, they told him, the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
Good morning to all, uh, good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon po. Reflecting on our readings today on the fourth week of Lent Monday, I remember one of my experiences after Sunday Mass. May lumapit po sa akin isang lalaki at bigla na lang akong binulaga sa kanyang sinabi. Sabi niya, Father, I don't know if I will still live tomorrow. Hindi ba kayo magulat? Sabihan kayo ng ganyan na hindi niyo kakilala at sasabihin na hindi niya alam kung bukas buhay pa siya. And then, he told me, if I could facilitate to him the sacrament of anointing of the sick. And after that Sunday Mass, this man approached me at the sacristy, explaining that he would have surgery on the following day as a result of a complex health situation. After that, I never heard of him anymore until one of our volunteers phoned me to say that the surgery never took place. In the end, because upon further examination, before it, the doctors found him totally healed. I said to myself, thanks be to God. God is good. My dear brothers and sisters, when we experience prostrating moments in life, that are beyond our control, we cling to God for mercy and healing. Both the guy who asked for confession and anointing, the court official in the Gospel reading experienced tremendous prostrations. But despite their condition, they never lost faith in God. Jesus in the Gospel reading said to the court official, Your son will live. I believe Jesus also taught the guy who approached me in the silence of his heart, You will be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is our Lord who cannot refuse our sincere prayers. He always gives us new life, new hope, and new journey to heaven. Jesus once said, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. He gives us a hint. Believe in Him. Let us firmly believe in Jesus, the Son of the living God. He does not only heal us, but also gives us life, a life prepared in heaven. That is why in this season of Lent, the Lord is inviting us to be sincere in presenting before Him who and what we are. May we then trust and have confidence in Jesus' words, for they are the source of life everlasting. Remember, your words, O Lord, are spirit and life.
Please stand. Confident that when we pray with faith to God the Father, He will respond to our request with open-hearted generosity. We now present before Him our needs. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by her care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That doctors, nurses, and those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this season of Lent may be a time of healing and reconciliations for families and communities of people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may receive comfort and support from their families, friends, and neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may enjoy forever the reward of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to go on trusting you and to have faith in the healing power of your Son who binds up all our wounds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed day, Lord, God of all creation, for the goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed day, Lord, God of all creation, for the goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, 
lead us to things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.